Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I just want to say thank you so much for 600 subscribers. Uh, I know this video is a little bit late, but uh, I've been really swarmed with coursework um, and all sorts of uh, uni assignments. And so, you know, thank you so much for sticking with me for the, you know, great support on the previous videos. Um, you know, I'll just give you a few little tips as to how you can make your arm shot tsunami sound a little better. Um, you know, I've not... It's not going to be the greatest example of this, like this current example, you'll see it in the review. But um, basically, uh, one, if you want all the tips, right, first thing is going to be take this guy apart and clean it, have, like, not thoroughly, but like get rid of all the factory oils, right? Factory oils uh, just usually aren't that great. Um, and so typically, I would say, you know, first thing you can do with a clone like this is just clean it up from whatever's from the factory. Um, because honestly, it's, it's, it's not the greatest stuff, right? It's literally just there to prevent any sort of corrosion. You know, I think the, the titanium was a little covered with oil, the blade would be covered in oil and all that kind of stuff, right? Just the normal stuff for shipping metal products. Um, then I would say inspect the washers that already come with this and then inspect the spare washers. In my case, my spare washers were actually smoother and a bit better cut or stamped, I should say, because that's how they do them. Um, they were a bit better stamped and ground slightly better than the ones that were in here stock. Um, and so I decided to change those out. Whether that makes a huge difference, uh, I couldn't say so, but um, you know, it, having a smoother surface is just gonna be nicer for the transfer of energies and whatnot, rather than having a rough surface where uh, energy can be not transferred as efficiently and you'll be wasted in friction or something like that. Um, and then I would say put it back together um, once you've cleaned everything. You know, be careful not to get your kind of finger greases on any contact points. So like on the inside line of here, right? You don't want um, much finger grease there. Like on the, imagine this is in half, this surface here that mates. Um, and uh, here's a little extra bonus tip. If you really want the best sound possible, put all the weights in, or at least put some weights in. That's no weights in, right? And I've not oiled this guy in a while as well. So that's no weights with uh, old oil. It's not dry, but uh, you know it's it's not freshly lubed. Um, and so yeah, if you have some stainless washers though, I'm gonna see if I have some that will fit in it because uh, dude, I, this thing on stainless washers is gonna be just nice. Um, or maybe I'll have to buy some. But um, yeah. This is one of those things where, and then what you do want to do is you just want to crank this down, crank the screws down. Um, I would suggest do this kind of standard regular hand tightness to a regular tightness. Then do these bottom ones here, then crank the bottom ones and then crank the top ones. Um, because that way you get a slightly more even seating, a bit more even pressure amongst the whole uh, knife. Uh, that's just some little, little tips and tricks uh, to make your tsunami sound better. And then I recommend using a heavyweight or a thick oil um, if you're in the States, my personal recommendation would be NRB Thick, um, which I personally quite like. Or, you know, as a global recommendation is Carbon Honey Thick. Uh, that stuff's also really good. Or if uh, you prefer the price of uh, ODI Oil, uh, which I believe is by um, Power Song Flipping, um, he also makes a really good, uh, you know, a really good Power Song Oil, right? It's a very thick oil. Um, and, you know, it's not got any ridiculous additives in it like some of the other oils have. Um, but I think the graphene from Carbon Honey, really, I do notice the difference. Because even when the balisong is dry, uh, it doesn't feel crazy dry. Um, I, or if, you know, you're on a budget and you just, you know, just need some cheap oil. Three-in-one oil does work, but you'll have to be lubing it probably every day-ish. But obviously those things come in like 100 mil bottles. So that's a worthy trade-off rather than the like 10 mil bottles that uh, other oils come in. But um, yeah, if you want to know what my oil recommendations are, it's probably those three. And, you know, if you're in China, maybe like the arm shark thick is also pretty damn good for the price. Um, so, yeah, depending, there's there's some options for you for hopefully covering most budgets. Um, and that should help your, you know, your arm shark tsunami sound a bit better. Hopefully restocks are coming soon. Um, it's been a few weeks now. Um so there should be another batch of these guys coming along. The stone wash should be coming along soon. The Cerakote one should also be coming along soon. Um, ooh, that was nice. I wasn't even looking at it. Um, yeah, the Cerakote one should be coming along soon, uh, which I'm definitely interested in. Um, 
And yeah, man, just thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. I think we're at 620 or so, 30. Um, I haven't checked uh, too recently. But um, yeah, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, you know, thank you for your feedback. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. All that good stuff that you guys, you know, usually quite do quite well. You know, uh, especially liking the videos helps to kind of get recommended to more more people. Um, and I, I, I think I'm maybe not the most consistent, but I'm definitely one of the more consistent in terms of uh, regularly, regularly uploading. Um, although I've been slacking a bit lately, so uh, thank you guys for bearing, bearing with me. Um, battle song channels out there, you know, I like to get my, my content out. Um, but I also want to try and provide something of, of service to you guys, right? Which is why, you know, I'm giving you tips here, which, um, you know, not many people... And that would, by the way, apply for kind of any Chamwich Battle Song in terms of the tightening order. Um, or I would say any Battle Song, but uh, it's kind of specific per, per Battle Song. But for most Chamwich Battle Songs, that's the tightening order. When you want to do your pivots, uh, bottom ones, and then crank the bottom ones, crank the pivots. Um, yeah, just... Or, like, you can tend to crank them evenly, right? Seat them evenly so you get as, as good of a contact point between the two edges as you can that's how you're going to get the fullest sound possible i just love how quiet this is but yeah i cannot stress enough how much uh, i appreciate each and every one of you guys um for watching the videos leaving comments down below liking the video you know supporting channels in in little ways like that uh is kind of huge um and uh yeah i hope i can you know keep providing you guys with, with more and more content hopefully the watch hours are you know they're slowly going up which is good um hopefully i can start monetizing the channel um you know within the next six months uh, maybe even by, by well, February is optimistic, by February is optimistic, but, uh, you know, the plan is at least to, uh, have something kind of in the works by then, um, where I can maybe be financing the channel a little better, uh, and so, yeah, thank you guys so much, uh, I appreciate all of you guys, and, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Which, that's a good question as to what it will be. Let me know, guys, in the comments what you want to see down below. If you've made it this far, you guys are the real MVPs. You know, watching seven minutes of me basically blumming along whilst flipping this pretty cool battle song. I wish it was slightly longer. I like my long battle songs. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.